Hey guys, so today's video is on the life of Faith Nkete. She was born on the 30th of December 1994. She is a famous South African influencer, a hip hop artist, because she has a, an EP out, an entertainer, a host, a reality TV star, and a dancer. Now, Faith Nkete started becoming quite popular when she started a hip hop dance group called pro twerkers at 16. the group was featured on several music videos by famous artists and the most famous song that they were featured on was Titon Boweni by south african rapper caspar Nyovist. now the thing is during that era a lot of female vixens were getting really popular because of their facial features and their body structure now that time was when the bb bbl or bbw time was like really popping and there was a certain body type which was really embraced and loved by society now Due to the popularity of what they were doing in the music videos, a lot of club owners started noticing them and felt like they wanted to have a bit of entertainment in their clubs so they can stand out and slowly but surely they were getting booked non-stop and they were making a lot of money like that money was funding their lifestyle that money was getting them into spaces with elites and just them going around the country and they themselves they would say like it was like a mini tour of them just twerking however in 2018 faith gets decided that she's going to leave this industry and she felt like she wanted a little bit of an upgrade those were her own words in her reality tv show but she mentioned how she wanted not only to be known for twerking but something else that she can actually offer on the table so that's when she started taking her modeling and social media influencing um career to the next level and actually just put her all into it now faith continued doing club appearances and hosting because let me tell you something there is a lot of money there and you also keep your name um, in the publicity because you'll be um, doing big gigs um, with big celebrities as well. Now, in 2019, she achieved a new milestone when she um, had her own reality TV show called Have Faith on MTV Base. Now, the reality TV show was basically about her life and um, the people in her life. And I just definitely want to say that um, as much as she has tried to open up about her life, that show wouldn't be as great as it is if it was not for her friends and family. Like, if she just had to have a reality TV show with just herself, I don't think it would be as interesting. So I definitely do hope as the seasons go by that she keeps that group she keeps that squad because it definitely makes the show what it is now faith continued doing club appearances and hosting because let me tell you something there is a lot of money there and you also keep your name um in the publicity because you'll be um doing big gigs um with big celebrities as well now, in 2019, she achieved a new milestone when she um, had her own reality TV show called Have Faith on MTV Base. Now, the reality TV show was basically about her life and um, the people in her life. And I just definitely want to say that um, as much as she has tried to open up about her life, that show wouldn't be as great as it is if it was not for her friends and family like if she just had to have a reality tv show with just herself i don't think it would be as interesting so i definitely do hope as the seasons go by that she keeps that group 
she keeps that squad because it definitely makes the show what it is one thing i love and i've learned from fade from watching the reality tv shows is that she's a go-getter and i love that however the downside to being a go-getter is sometimes you don't become realistic hence why she decided to enter the rapping industry she decided to release her own ep called disrespectful which was endorsed by dj maporisa and wow um a lot of fate's fans and even music lovers were actually criticizing it i don't want to lie to you i know twitter streets can be mean but her songs were just something else i definitely don't think this is her niche this is something that she should even like go into you know um i know we live in an in a time where we can do everything but there's just some things which are not meant for us because she definitely lacked that experience i mean guys not everyone can become a rapper because it actually takes a lot of talent it takes a lot of hard work it takes a lot of motivation and one thing it takes is passion and i felt like she was just entering the rapping industry because everyone was getting into it at that time the sad part about it was there was even like a hashtag rap like Faden Keze which was trending on Twitter where people were just like bringing out like weak like punchlines just to mimic her and it was really sad to see because you can definitely see that like she was just doing it because it was something that she really wanted to try out which also made me side eye DJ Maporisa because was he just doing it because it was Faith and Gete or did he generally like feel like she could like come out with something which was actually popping and did he actually get paid for it like since he was helping her out like was it a thing of like oh it's just business that I'm doing I, I don't have time to like give her proper criticism or was he doing it from a point of a friend to a friend but we'll never know because since then she hasn't come out with any other form of music now she also has her own cosmetics company called fe beauty and it looked okay to me like i haven't bought it and i haven't seen any complaints but one thing i've noticed with faith is she will start something and not fully completed because i feel like she's all over the place so even that was not something that she really definitely put her 100 percent or got someone to like oversee that because she's all over the place now during the time migos came um to south africa i think this was in 2017 she was unfortunately rumored to be the girl that offset was cheating with karen sa and even the time when davido came she was also linked so she's always been someone who's always been linked to controversy so it's not surprising that once she did get married her whole marriage was filled with controversy because she got married i think last year and that's when she also revealed that she was pregnant with her first child and the guy that she got married to is just filled with so many scandals apparently he's not rich as he claims to be allegedly he's doing fraud allegedly they're getting divorced allegedly their their marriage is on the rocks however through her social media it does not look like that and they have a beautiful daughter who i think is about to turn one year soon her the daughter's name is sky and she's yet to show us the baby's face i'm not too sure if she's going to do what our casper are doing to us with their kids and we'll never see the child or maybe the child we will see on the next um reality tv show but i definitely know that the child is going to be beautiful i mean say whatever you want to say about her man but that man is fine like he is fine anyway we've come to the end of today's video 
do comment down below anything else you've heard about faith i know that there was that whole scandal with dennis but i just don't believe it hence why i didn't include it in this um video i just felt like it was just rumors and speculations nothing came out of it and she did explain herself that it was just strictly business but do comment down below any other juicy stories you've heard about faith or that you know but anyway don't forget to like subscribe and hit the post notification bell down below till next time bye